Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from radical equations. And we are going to calculate real solutions only. So let's get it started with our substitution. 126 minus x root x. Let's say it is y root y. So from this equation itself, I can write x root x plus y root y equal to 126 and I will call this is our equation 1. Now I will write our original equation. So it would be y root y whole square equal to 26 minus x this equation. So I can write cube root of y square times y y cube equal to 26 minus x cube root and cube will be over y is equal to 26 minus x or x plus y equal to 26 and let's say this equation is our equation number 2. So we have two equations here for this new system of equation set. Let's solve these equations. So I will be writing x plus y equal to 26 x root x plus y root y equal to 126. Now I will consider cubing of first equation this equation and squaring of this equation. So a plus b whole cube a plus b whole square. Let's apply the identities. So a cube plus b cube x cube plus y cube plus 3xy and then x plus y. So in that place we can write 26 equal to 26 cube x cube plus y cube plus 3 times 26 78 xy equal to 26 cube. So x cube plus y cube this value will be equal to 26 cube minus 78 xy. Now this second equation I will consider squaring. So x square times root x square. So x cube plus y cube plus 2xy root xy 2ab term equal to 126 whole square. Now I will use this result here in this equation. So I can write our equation as 26 cube minus 78 xy plus 2 xy root xy equal to 126 whole square. Now I can consider 26 cube the values 26 cube and 126 is square. So it is 17, 5, 7, 6. And this value is 15, 8, 7, 6. And remaining terms I will write 78xy plus 2xy root xy. Now I will use another substitution root xy equal to t. Let us consider root x times y equal to t. So t must be positive for real solutions. So I can write our equations in t. So it would be 17,576 minus 78t square plus 2t cube equal to 15,876. Take all the terms to LHS. So 2t cube minus 78t square. Then this difference is 1700 equal to 0. Let's divide this equation by 2. t cube minus 39t square plus 850 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I can solve using method of factorization. So let's solve by this method t cube minus 
minus 39t square we can split minus 5t square and then minus 34t square and plus 850 equal to 0. So from these two we can consider t square common. So in bracket it would be t minus 5 left. Now if I will take minus 34 common here then in bracket it would be t square minus 25 equal to 0 or t square t minus 5 minus 34 difference of two squares formula so t plus 5 times t minus 5 equal to 0 now t minus 5 is overall common so we can write t square minus 30 40 minus this product would be 170 equal to 0 so conclusion from here either t minus 5 will be equal to 0 or t square minus 30 40 minus 170 equal to 0 now from first equation this one I can conclude t will be equal to 5 and from this quadratic equation I will use quadratic formula so I can write 34 plus minus the square root of 34 is square minus so it will become plus 4 times 170 divided by 2a so 2 so I can write two solutions from here for this quadratic equation one would be 17 plus 3 root 51 and second would be 17 minus 3 root 51 now if you will check this negative 17 minus 3 root 51 it is having negative value as 17 is smaller than 3 root 51 so t cannot be negative so this solution would be rejected so we will accept this one only let me write here the final values of t 5 and 17 plus 3 root 51 now t was our substitution root xy equal to 5 and 17 plus 3 root 51 I will consider squaring to get the value of xy so 5 is square 25 and if I will consider a square of 17 plus 3 root 51 then this value is coming out 1476 approximate value now our second equation of the system x plus y equal to 6 26 I will consider with xy values 25 and 1476 let us consider two system so I will be writing x plus y equal to 26 with xy equal to 25 and I will write x plus y equal to 26 with xy equal to 1476 let us pick the second system first so I can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y then this is sum of roots this is product of roots so I can write quadratic in x itself so x square minus sum of roots 26x plus product of roots 1476 equal to 0 let's check discriminant only so b square 26 square minus 4ac so 4 times 1 times 1476 if you will check this value 26 square is 676 only so this value will be 5904 which is obviously negative number so I can write we will get complex solutions hence we will reject this quadratic equation for our solutions now this system we will consider same way we will generate quadratic in x itself x square minus sum of roots 
so 26 times x plus product of roots 25 equal to 0. Now we can factorize easily x minus 1 and x minus 25. So two important results or solutions from here x equal to 1 and 25. Now we have to cross examine whether it is true or not. So I will consider check and let us consider our first solution x equal to 1 LHS cube root of 126 minus 1 square root 1 whole square and if I will write our RHS also then it would be 26 minus 1 so our RHS is 25 now cube root of 126 minus 1 whole square cube root of 125 whole square cube root of 125 is 5 cube whole square using exponent properties I can swap parts 5 whole square whole cube cube root and cube will be over so it will come out 5 e square which will be equal to 25 LHS equal to RHS hence this is verified now come to 25 LHS cube root 126 minus 25 e square root 25 whole e square this is our LHS, RHS, 26 minus 25, so RHS is 1. Now I can write cube root, 126 minus 25 times 5, this value is 5. So overall it is 1, 2, 5, whole square. Cube root, this will be 1 whole square cube root 1 value is 1 this is our LHS this is our RHS hence x equal to 25 is also verified solution so for this radical equation we can write our solutions are x equal to 1 and x is equal to 25 this brings the end of the video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself Goodbye to you.